So Jared Kushner right now, in addition to promoting his new book on the media circuit is also on a bit of a, I love Trump and I swear to God, I'm not the FBI informant from Mar-a-Lago trip. So he recently appeared on TV, of course, to, uh, kind of give a, a verbal, well, I don't want to use that word, but I'll just say a, uh, a glowing endorsement of how great his daddy-in-law Donald Trump was while in office. So take a look at Jared Kushner having to pander to his own father-in-law just to get his love. Here it is. He didn't adapt to Washington to play by their rules and follow their processes. And he was an existential threat to their power. But a lot of those leaders in Washington were generals with no army. Right. And I think with Trump, right. I never saw it as like right versus left. Yeah. I always saw it as a function of outside versus inside. And he was really fighting for the forgotten men and women of this country. Again, this man is pandering to his own father-in-law, right? It'd be one thing if Jared Kushner was a politician out there trying to get a Trump endorsement, maybe trying to get his hands on some of the Donald Trump political action committee money, but no, this is a guy that's literally a part of his family out there basically saying, look how good I'm being, please love me, accept me as one of your own. It's pathetic and it's very sad. And literally everything that Jared Kushner said in that interview has been debunked a thousand times over. Donald Trump was not a populist. Yes, he was technically a political outsider, but only in the sense that he had never served in politics in his life. He was still a political player. He still gave money. He still went to fundraisers long before he ever actually entered politics. He was a player. And let's not forget, he's also a member of the top 1%. So he's not an outsider by any stretch of the imagination. He is living in an ivory tower, actually literally a golden tower. And you think he's out there fighting for the every man. And honestly, that is the problem with Donald Trump is you still have far too many, you know, middle and underclass people here in the United States who believe that Trump fought for them. So I ask you people this, what did he do for you? What policy specifically you can tell me right now that Donald Trump enacted that made your life better, that improved your quality of life. We all know the answer to that because it's nothing. I guess technically you might be able to account, uh, uh, for the first, you know, two rounds of stimulus checks we got, but even that was under, ex you know, uh, extraordinary circumstances that otherwise would not have happened, right? If we didn't have the pandemic, Trump would not have sent you checks in the mail. So, you know, that's, that doesn't even really count. Other than that, his trade war sent farmers into record numbers of bankruptcy, a trade war that's still going on. Oh, he brought jobs back to America. No, he didn't. In fact, the plants that he promised were coming back to America never came back. The jobs he promised to create during the campaign and said, oh, we're bringing this company here. We're bringing this one there. They never showed up. They never showed up. So for Jared Kushner to go out there and tell these things that he knows are lies suggests that there's an ulterior motive there. And I believe it's cause he's trying to make daddy in law feel better, possibly even love him and try desperately to convince him that I swear to God, I'm not that Mar-a-Lago informant, which of course he did say last week on Megyn Kelly's podcast. So that's why Jared Kushner's out there right now. It's not just to sell books. It's about to ease the fears of the father-in-law and of course, quiet the voices of all the people like Mary Trump and Michael Cohen and staffers down at Mar-a-Lago who keep whispering in Trump's ear that Jared Kushner was the informant. That's what this is all about. He's pandering to his own father-in-law, not just to love him, but to convince him that he's not the one that threw him under the bus. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.